I don't want you to think that all of the rain is over and we're done with it because there is a chance it could build back in as a front crosses the area. But for right now, it's dry. This is the time of day. If you just have to go out and get some errands done, you could probably go ahead and get that done over the next couple of hours before the last push of moisture moves in. For right now, we're watching as that Arctic cold blast begins to move through the center of the country, bringing with it our last push of moisture for them, some snow and cold air there, and that's going to be on the back side of the front. We're not worried about that type of precipitation, just the liquid kind and another slight chance as we go through the overnight. Winds start to pick up. We're going to be tracking wind gusts through the evening, which won't be too bad for us. But again, we will be watching as a few spotty sprinkles move through as that last front moves in. That's going to change our winds going from maybe wind speeds in the teens to 20s to wind speeds in the 30s and 40s as we transition into your Friday. Yes, these will be actual wind speeds and there are some areas that have a hard time keeping power once the winds go over 40 miles per hour. So you know if you're in one of those communities, make sure you watch out and watch very closely for the possibility of there possibly being a power outage in your neck of the woods. We then move into the afternoon. We start to see those winds still kicking at 30 and 25 miles per hour. We then transition to winds going to about 25 to 30 miles per hour for your Friday night. That's when our wind chill advisory takes hold. That's when we start to feel those single digit temperatures coming in and then you add these wind speeds and it starts to feel much colder. Now we're starting to talk about your Saturday. That's when we just have a continuation of the cold. Yes, it's cold Friday. It moves in Friday, but it stays around for Saturday and Sunday. That wind chill advisory does start at seven o'clock tomorrow evening and continues into Saturday morning, but I don't want you to think that'll be the end of the cold air. It will stay around for your Christmas Eve and for your Christmas Day. All right, hard to see anything outside right now. We're looking live over the capital city, tracking low visibility and fog and a misty drizzle in some areas. 45 for us in Columbia and in Sumter. You're at 43 in Winsboro and 45 in Camden. 47 for us as we had in Orangeburg with plenty of cloud cover. So we're now at a point where we have four first alert days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And they're alert days all for the cold, but kind of for varying degrees of the cold, if you will. Transitioning into windy and cold for tomorrow as that wind chill advisor takes place and then we see that wind chill for Saturday morning being the coldest we've seen around here in many years. We continue staying cold into your Sunday and then even into Monday morning. We're going to see a continuation of the cold after Christmas because we start out in the teens for Monday morning. Now the main event will probably be that Christmas Eve morning. That's probably going to be the time we feel the coldest air, the highest wind gusts, the lowest temperatures. Make sure you're thinking about your plants, your pets, your friends, your family, neighbors, everyone and your pipes. You're thinking about all those things going ahead and preparing right now is going to be the best plan of action as that cold air settles in. All right, here's a look at your four first alert days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday. Perfect conditions for Santa. He'll be in and out Saturday night into Sunday morning, and then we'll be watching temperatures start to moderate from that point. We're in the 40s by your Tuesday at 46 and 49 by Wednesday into your Thursday at 56 and 63 next Friday. Yes, we're still tracking a return of rainfall Friday, Saturday and Sunday.